Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Right now, I'm walking the dog and the cat. I'm in the backwoods at the house. But today, I'm gonna to give you an update on the greenhouse and I need to cover all of the outdoor plants because we have a late frost warning tonight. <music> I don't believe I've ever showed you this part of the land. That ravine that runs right through here goes all the way up to the road, which is where I usually walk her. All I did was get to the end of our lot and loop around and come down here. This is the back end of the west pasture right up there. That's the top of the ridge. This is the only place I could film without really high winds. We have some really kind of nasty weather coming up. It was 34 last night. It's going to be 30 degrees tonight. Heavy frost warning. And then warm up for one day and then two days of 33 degrees. I really don't know what that's going to do. Uh, here comes the wind again. I don't know what that's going to do to the trees and all the other stuff that's planted or the grapevines. As long as the grapevines don't have any shoots, they should be okay. <laughs> we lost a branch right there. The shoots should be okay, but I don't know. So I'm going to go take a look at the grapes over there and see if they're shooting yet. I don't think they are but they might be. And then I'll take you over to the greenhouse and show you the progress there. And then a little bit later on today, I'm going to cover up whatever I can. I'm in the northwest corner of the west pasture, just checking out the garlic mustard that we sprayed earlier, Natalie and I. And for the most part, it's all died back. But I did pick this bouquet of garlic mustard along the way there isn't a huge amount that's going to flower like this what we killed was mostly rosettes so yeah see this is going to flower right here i'm going to get in here tomorrow and spray this stuff again tomorrow is the last warm day like i said and then we have two or maybe three wet cold days and then it starts getting really nice, so I got to get a spray done tomorrow, even though I don't want to. All right, let's go look at the vineyard. I tried filming in the vineyard, but just a sustained strong wind down there, the sound wouldn't have came out. But this is Natalie's little area, and she has one plant there, two right there, and one right there. I believe that's it. Four here. Oh, and one here. And then the cornucopia that we just planted right there. I'm going to have to tent that with plastic. And then she has some plants down on the other end of the yard by Walnut Bluff. I'll have to get those as well. I'm just going to put buckets over whatever I can and, like I said, tent that one. All right, let's go look in the greenhouse. All right, it's toasty warm in here. I had the heater on last night, but I'm sure it got pretty cold in here last night. I didn't come out here until like 9 o'clock or so. So I'm going to have to put the heater on again tonight. Tonight is the really cold night and then not tomorrow night but the two nights after that. I wanted to get all this stuff in the ground and was going to start and then we seen that we had this freezing day and I've been hoping it would go away in the forecast but it hasn't. Natalie just sent me a text on the start of the walk over there 
saying that it's snowing in Milwaukee. Okay, I had my coat and hat on and I was just dying so I got that stuff off. It's 80 degrees in here. This is the buffalo grass that I planted in here, the plugs that I planted, and a lot of this stuff is coming up. None of the stuff that I planted in the ground is coming up. Apparently it's been too cold. So hopefully that stuff will come up once it warms up. I just quit watering it. I'll wait for, it's gonna be another uh, one, two, four or five days until this cold snap is gone and then I'll I'll start watering it again then. These are all my little blue stem. You can see some of these are really tillering and the tillering is the side shoots. It's a whole nother stem of grass. It'll form a clump eventually, a big clump. The little blue stem along the road there is already coming up. So this stuff is good to plant now and I would have started, sorry about the noise, this stuff is good to plant and I would have started by now, but the weather has just been so terrible. So most of these that are left in the uh, flats, I'm just gonna take a drill with a two inch auger. I have a two inch auger right over there somewhere and just punch a little hole, put these in and that's it. So I should be able to get like all of the little blue stem in one day. These, I believe, the ones in pots, I believe I'm going to keep these back. Oh, maybe not. They're not really doing that good. And I had the same problem last year. The little blue stem does not do good in a little container. Once you get it in the ground, it does... Wow. Once you get it in the ground, it does really well. But in a container, not so much. And that brings us to the prairie drop seed. I planted two of them to see if that would help them out to get them growing a little better. And it kind of looks that way, but I really don't know. I mean, none of these look really good. I really need to get in here and thin these out, but there's absolutely no time today. We have some miserable days coming up so I can spend a full day and get all of these thinned out to one. And you gotta kinda watch out at this point because these are tillering as well. That is all one plant. All this stuff coming out from the side is from the same plant. So I really gotta watch out when I'm thinning this that I don't cut off its own tillers. So that's prairie drop seed and then little blue stem, little blue stem, the purple love grass is just real easy to grow and it starts to go on the ground like this it it uh, goes sideways kind of like a weed it is considered a weedy plant but that's just fine i want to fill in with this stuff along the road it grows in horrible soil and it looks gorgeous in late summer and before that it'll just fill in and be nice and thick so, like the little blue stem plugs, I'm going to plant these as plugs, probably all in one day. And first I'm going to fill in that area right over here, uh, where I planted them last year, and then work my way all down the road. This purple love grass is going to look really fantastic, especially in a couple years when this stuff is really nice and mature. All we got left in here is the hot peppers, that poinsettia peppers. I came out here and this was right on top of it and I probably did that. Natalie put it in here, but I might have flipped it over. I don't know, but it was on there for a couple days and these were all laying flat and looked pretty bad, but I took this off yesterday and they all came back. This is bottle brush grass. Oh, there's another one right there. I got two bottle brush grass that I'll put somewhere. And we already gave a bunch of these away. These are the hollyhocks. And these are just doing fantastic. Um, 
these will be real easy to put into the ground. Just drill a little, this like inch and a half or so. I can use a spade bit for that. Just make a little opening and pop them in. As long as we keep them watered, they should do just fine. I've got plenty of them here. And then we have the tomatoes and all this other stuff for the garden. Over here we have some as well. These are getting kind of big. Broccoli, uh, tomatoes, and we have tomatoes under there that we got from the greenhouse. Cucumbers. All of these want to get out of these pots, but the weather has just not been cooperating with us. My lilac cuttings, I do believe that one or two of them are alive. This one might be alive. That one is definitely alive. So I'm just going to let these go for a little bit longer and then I'll yank them out of here and see if any of them have roots. Any of them with roots will go into a pot for a while and then I'll, I'll plant it out as soon as the weather is better. These are all the grapes that I messed up. I had these in a bag and they started to put out leaves and I just didn't get them out here in time. I waited like a week, which was pretty bad and all of the shoots shriveled up like this but the tertiary buds see you got it's budding right down there all of these may come back i don't know but a good amount of them you got one two three four five this has a bud that's going to come back this is a lilac and it had that one single root not sure if this is going to come back or not i need to mist it a little bit because it's kind of warm in here. It might be desiccated by now, but we'll see. These should have been kept humid. I gotta do a better job on this next year. But like I said, I'll pop these out of here in a couple days and any of them that have roots will go into a pot. So that's your greenhouse update. A Little bit later, I'm gonna go cover everything with buckets and plastic and whatever I can, try to keep it all alive and I'll show you that as well. Okay, I think I have all of the plants covered except for that cornucopia barrel. I have four of them here. Couldn't put rocks on top of these. They're just milk jugs and they're kind of on the side of a hill but they're they're well out of the wind. The wind's coming from that way so got the walnut bluff here blocking it. Then we got two over here those are covered and the rest of them are behind the barn and the cornucopia. I'll show you that over there. I wish I could show you this up close but there is buffalo grass growing everywhere where I planted it. It's all coming up and it's only been a day since the last time I watered it and checked on it. I said earlier that I'm not going to water it until after this cold snap but I will have to water it tomorrow if it's still there who knows hopefully this cold snap doesn't hit us and it's a little above freezing but I don't know got two more days where they're calling for 33 degrees so either one of them can be a freeze as well yeah I can see all kinds of grass growing here um, kind of backed up by the sun there so I could see all kinds of seeds as well but it certainly is growing I'm trying to stay behind this hill to stay out of the wind so I have what do I have here one two three four five buckets here and the last thing, oh, I forgot to show you this. I tipped the toilet garden on its side and put the big stock tank over it. So that should be all right. Now I just got to get some plastic and cover up that cornucopia. Okay, got my back to the wind. It is pretty breezy out here, but I think this should be okay. All right, so that's covered. Everything is covered. And I think I'll wrap up this video tomorrow morning with an uncovering. So I will see you then. 
All right, it's the next day. Stuff's all covered up. You can hear the the heater in there. I got to get that shut off. We might have a little bit of wind problem, but let's see what things are doing. I took the tarp off the ones in the front. They're just fine. And I'm guessing all of these will be as well. But we have, oops. <sighs> Beautiful. We have frost warnings for the next two days. And actually they put snow in the forecast for tonight. So these are probably gonna have to go back on again. So I'm just gonna leave them where they are. Ah, this Wisconsin weather. Watch out, kitty. Kitty. Little Miss Maisie was out last night. She was sleeping in the greenhouse. She just came out of there. Nice warm place. I can't pet you right now, kitty. Okay, looks like everything came out fine. But we're going to have to go through this for the next couple days. But I guess that's the price you pay for living in Wisconsin. Alright, I have this one left and then I have all the ones down by Natalie's little area down there to open up. But first I'm going to go turn off that heat. Alright, it is 90 degrees in here. I let the heat on a little too long. It's only 10 o'clock, but as soon as that sun hits the greenhouse, things get pretty warm in here pretty quick. So I have to go through and get everything watered and go uncover them last few plants down by Walnut Bluff there. And then I have to go and spray 2,4-D. I'm just going to do three tanks of it. And then that's going to be it for the spring sprays. The garlic mustard is pretty much under control. I've just been hand pulling it when I find it. But I have one more area or actually one and a half more areas that have to be sprayed so I'll get that done then I have to uh, go out and cut trees out in the back I need to cut oh I don't know there's probably a couple hundred of them there just the uh, the little pencil trees that I gotta get cleared out before I can get in there and chainsaw so it's going to be a fun day. It's the it's going to be 65 today, but it's going to be cold for the next 2 days, cold and rainy. So I got to get done whatever I can get done today and then next week after the couple cold days, I will be planting pretty much everything in here. Well, I'll be starting to plant it. I'll plant as much as I can per day and get this place cleared out. So it's going to be a very, very busy couple weeks as I get everything into the ground. So if you want to see some mass planting, just make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. Then click that little bell and then click all and you'll receive notice whenever I post a new video. I'll be doing a ton of work down in the vineyard this year and you might want to see that. But I will also be working pretty much every week on the Oak Savannah project out back. That is coming along nicely and as I said earlier I'll be back there a little bit later today with the brush whacker taking out the little pencil trees in preparation for some chainsaw work. So that should be pretty interesting. So if you have any questions, make sure you put them in the comments below and have yourself a great day.